Hello everybody, it's GB. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm looking a little, a little different than usual. I think, um, the more I do these videos, the more likely that these are going to become real. But this is a temporary tattoo tracing video. A S M R. These are not real. <laughs> I have one real tattoo, and that is on my ribs because, you know, leave me alone. And it says nonstop. It is a Hamilton reference. Long story short, but it was part of our charity stream that we did last year as well. Okay, so today I got a bunch of temporary tattoos. These last for a couple weeks. They start fading um, faster depending on where you put them. So like once on your hands, you wash your hands a lot, they're gonna fade really fast. But I want to show you them. I want to trace over them. I find these videos extremely tingly. So We'll be able to talk about each one and just trace over the lines. I tried to put them in easier to reach places this time. This is my second time doing this. The first video I'll link below if you want to check that out. Um, but I had to like twist my arms a lot. So hopefully I did a little better this time. And let's get started. I want to show you the ones on my, what is this called? Like sternum first. So here is the first tattoo. This is a Q-bone skull from Pokemon. Technically, I believe. This is the skull of the Q-bone's mother. That's what the sad story is, which I always found like a little weird to be canon because that means every Cubone's mother has died. And I'm like, mm, I don't know about that one, geez. But this I think is a really cool tattoo because it is reminiscent of Pokemon. It's very obvious that it's Pokemon, but it's a little different than maybe a normal Pokemon tattoo like that you've normally seen. So I liked this. Um, I've always liked skulls in tattoo art. So I thought this one would be cool to put in a more visible place if you're wearing a tank top. decent size. Got the eye and the nose and the little fang here. Over here we have a dragon tattoo. Now this isn't just any dragon. If I'm not mistaken, and I should probably look it up just to make sure. I can't see it now that it's like off the tattoo thing and onto my skin. I believe this is Haku from Spirited Away, the place where I got these tattoos from. I think they're like not allowed to be overly, uh, like they can't fully label copyrighted stuff, you know? So it's just called like Dragon, but I'm like, this looks exactly like Haku the Dragon from Spirited Away, which is a great movie. Let me show you. I will Google it for you. Oh, look. A nice Pokemon case. Ha. Huh. Cool. Spirit of Here you go. Do -do -do. Okay, so. This is Haku. This is actually fan art. But this is Haku. This is a tattoo. Haku tattoo. It's definitely it. 
they haven't seen spirited away in years but I've seen a lot of people get this tattoo or something any sort of Haku dragon tattoo and I get why because dragons are a really really aesthetically pleasing choice for a tattoo and then you also get your love for Ghibli movies or anime in the tattoo as well so it's like a little bit of a nod to it it's better than just getting a regular dragon for some people I'm sure it's got nice long whiskers and I think this one's pretty neat dragon tattoo, skull tattoo we're, we're getting all the stereotypes today I didn't realize how awkward it would feel to like be zooming in on bodies body parts um, my bad but this is a really neat design of what to me looks like to women heads almost identical just mirrored little eyes nose mouth eyes nose mouth eyebrows dark hair up here and then wavy I'm realizing, again, the more of these temporary tattoos I try I've always heard that with tattoos, like the bolder the lines, the more simple the design, like the better it's going to stay and last for years to come and I also like the bolder, more simple designs or being able to tell what it is from far away some of these that you'll see I think are really pretty but you can't really tell what they are unless you're like staring at them so I thought this one was very nicely executed I could definitely see it as a real tattoo design for somebody on their body what is it? Pisces? it's like the double astrology sign or something Next, we have this anime girl heart design and I like these tattoos I've seen a lot of them for real which is um, like a heart shape and then a character inside I believe this is not a reference to a real anime but just in, like an original a mask and I think the description of this tattoo said it was like to prove that you could look cute and cool in a mask I thought that was nice got a little ear up here nice cute big eyes and a little fist I need to go to the gym <laughs> but thought that one was neat the next tattoo is really cute some of these I don't think I pressed down all the way on when I was putting them on so a little faded but I think it turned out pretty nice this is a potion vial Some sort of plant inside. I think the name of the tattoo is something 
It wasn't vitality, but it was something close to that. Potion seller. I require your strongest potions. <laughs> My potions can kill a beast, let alone a man. Potion seller. I require your strongest potions. <laughs> Sounds really cute, I think. Good fit for a lot of people. And I liked it because it was long and thin. So I thought I would need to like fill in more spaces, but it did not end up being the case. You need a lot of tattoos to really cover. It's got a cute little cork. And I like this one a lot. Again, you can kind of tell what it is from far away. I think these tattoos all did that pretty well. Moving on to the forearm. Okay, first of all, this tattoo positioning is amazing. Okay, so when you're turned around, it's like, it looks like it's kind of crooked almost. But if you flip your arm up like this, Flip your arm up. It's perfectly in a row. I think this is the coolest tattoo placement. I really like it. And this is obviously... Well, maybe not obviously if you haven't seen Avatar. This is water, earth, fire, and air symbols from Avatar The Last Airbender. I mean, the elements <laughs> are not from, from the Avatar The Last Airbender, but the design of these, this is directly from the show. So yeah, the water tribe. And I'm just thinking of when Iroh was like teaching Zuko about each tribe, when he's drawing it in the sand. and James really wants to get this as a tattoo for real. So I ordered him a second one so he could try it out. I highly recommend testing things before you commit. My, um, my real tattoo that I got, I'll show you again. My real tattoo. I actually ordered, I like made what I thought I wanted and it ended up being slightly different. I made what I wanted and ordered it as a temporary tattoo and put it on my body just to like see if I liked it before I got it. And I obviously did. So I thought that was nice. So I got James as to try. Also on my forearm, it's kind of extending up to my wrist. This one is pretty cool. It's very, uh, I think it's very unique, although I'm pretty sure I've seen people with comb tattoos before. It wants to focus on the, the faces in the back. And this is just like a fine tooth comb. But the teeth, it's funny, they're like broken up almost. Here, let's see. Come on. You can do it. Focus on the comb. It's got the little bristles, the teeth. I think this is called, is this called a rat tail comb? I don't know why that's coming to mind. But this one I thought was 
really cool as well. gets twisted because that's how skin works. So I'm gonna stand kind of like the, uh, this. Stand like this. There we go. It's like my hands up here. Okay. Now this one is such a cool design. I don't know why I like it so much, but I really like this. It's like roots. Turnip. They remind me of little turnips. And it's got faces at the top. Almost like the um the plant from Mary Potter, maybe. Maybe that's what it reminds me of. And there's like this tiny little face. sorts of tattoos because I think they're interesting and that's it, that's my reasoning I find them very interesting so I'm curious if you like this or if you think this is more like creepy but I love the little faces and the more like organic definitely one of my favorites. I really did want to get this tattooed for real. <laughs> and I apologize if you have a koi tattoo, but I can't do it because it's too... It's so <laughs> popular. Um, this is actually... Oh my gosh, what are their names? Twee and Law? Apologies. These are the spirits from Avatar again, and one of them is the moon spirit. Spirit. 
definitely got a very obvious yin and yang uh, design and meaning. And I think animals are such a nice tattoo. It's a nice reference to Avatar, a nice reference to balance. I'm very surprised at how much I like having a hand tattoo. Not something that my mother probably wants to hear. But I definitely love it. And I thought that one was pretty cool. And the design is very pretty. So that's the one arm. We can move on to the other. Alright. This is my Cool vacation skeleton chiller guy. Um, I really like Reapers as a tattoo, like a very popular tattoo design. I like the Grim Reapers skeleton skulls, etc. I love when they're doing not Grim Reaper things, so I knew I had to get this one. So here we are. Or Grim Reaper. You can see his hood, but he's wearing sunglasses. He's got a nice big smile on. He has his Hawaiian style short sleeve collared shirt, leaves holding his scythe. Pointy. And he's got a nice mug of steaming coffee. <laughs> Sorry, not this one was hysterical. I really like it. I think the point of tattoos is just to, you know, you just want to evoke a certain feeling when you look at it. And if you want to evoke joy. This is the kind of thing I would get. And you can put as much reminder or meaning or anything you want in the tattoos. Like this could be a reminder not to take life or death so seriously or maybe it's a saying that I don't know. I'm gonna stop. But yeah, I thought this was cute. That's pretty much it. Next, we have a pair of eyes. Thought these uh, these eyes were pretty cool. Just some random eyes with a cool little teardrop, a star. You know, I love Hamilton, so I thought the star would be nice. Sometimes I'm sad, so the teardrop was cool. Just kidding, I love Hisoka so much. <laughs> There's not a lot of anime tattoos on on Inkbox, which is where I got all these. But there are a few, and I snatched them up. And these Hisoka eyes, I think, were the first thing in my cart. I love Hisoka as a character, not as a person, <laughs> and if you haven't watched Hunter x Hunter, do yourself a favor. I get DMs all the time from people saying, wow, I can really, <laughs> look at those triceps. <laughs> I haven't worked out in six months. Um, I always get DMs from people saying, that I made them watch Hunter x Hunter, or Death Note, or My Hero Academia, or anything um, that I got them to watch anime for the first time, and it's my favorite my favorite DM to receive, so I'm glad I can get so many of you interested Hunter x Hunter, it's a long one, but I highly recommend it Speaking of 
this is a tattoo I promise you I will get in my lifetime. I think I want it on the back of my arm right here above the elbow. But I put it here today. This is Elle's signature logo, whatever you want, from Death Note. I want to say Elle is my favorite character in all of anime. Death Note is another really good one. I would actually recommend reading the manga over watching the anime, but the anime is still very good. It's just a little outdated. I wish they would remake it. Um, I had this tattoo last time, and I keep ordering it. Oh my, those cars outside. I keep ordering it to see if I'll still like it. And I do. So this one's a really dope one. And it's like very basic. This is a common font. I can't remember what the font's called. But it's one of those things where it's not too like invasive of a tattoo. And if you get it, you get it. And I feel like most anime fans would get it. It's not a very niche tattoo. I'm sure hundreds of people have. I thought it was pretty nice in terms of, again, just bold design. You can tell what it is, etc. Moving down to the forearm, I have three tattoos here. This first one. This is the really intricate one. This is from Ponyo, which is another Ghibli movie. This design is so cute beautiful. Um, it didn't transfer perfectly, so I can blame a little bit on that, but from far away, it's very hard to tell what it is. It just kind of looks like a blurb. Up close. Very nice. So you've got, and forgive me because I actually, I saw this movie in theaters, but then I have never seen it all the way through again. His name is... Is his name Super? It's something. Sasuke. His name's Sasuke, for sure. Um, Sasuke. <laughs> if I'm wrong, that's so embarrassing, but I'm pretty sure it is. And, because I was like, oh my god. Because it was funny. Um, he's got this little bucket. And Ponyo. She's like a fish mermaid spirit little girl. And then you got these huge ocean waves. And up here is a little space scene. Goodness. There's like the longest, loudest plane of my life right now. I will spare you. A lot of little details, dots, lines. So I like it a lot, but it's funny that it doesn't really translate far away. <laughs> Next, a lot of people thought this was a sheep. Oh, and this one I didn't really place correctly kind of wrapped around my arm. Alright, so this little buddy is actually a little dog in a hoodie and I didn't realize how much I needed this. How much I needed this tattoo for real. Um, and this angle the fact that the dog is very thick. This reminded myself and Ben very much of our dog Luigi, who I don't think everybody knows, but I put it in a couple videos and stuff. 
um, he passed away in July, and we thought it would be cute to get Luigi tattoos, but didn't really know what to get, because we, like, really, really love him so much, and he's such a funny little dog that we don't really know what to get, but he used to wear hoodies all the time, and I was like, oh my god. I didn't even think about Luigi in a hoodie being so cute. So I like that I stumbled across this one. It makes me smile, it's a little nose, and tiny eyes. And then the very last one is cute and simple. It reminds me of like a stick and poke. And it's just a little smiley. Little neutral fella that's not too impressed. And Mr. Grumpy Gills. So there you go. That's all of them. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> these are very fun to make. And now I'm gonna have these in a bunch of videos the next couple of weeks. Luckily, it's just about hoodie weather now. Also, that ends well. <laughs> so, which one was your favorite? Let me know. Good night, everybody. I hope you sleep well. <laughs>